while I'm looking for a campsite, I've ran into a couple of people camping already. It is supposed to be a busy weekend, Labor Day and all, coming up. So people are getting in their last little bit of camping. Yeah, lots of people. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Well, you guys might notice this uh, unit right here. This is the Carpu Ride 702. It, it is a motorcycle, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto device. And I've been using it for like two to three months now, testing it out, and it is so nice. I love being able to see all my maps, everything I wanna know, where I'm going, right there on that screen. Um, it has been a major help and I can play my music and all that through it and it's just a nice tool to have especially when you're out out in the middle of nowhere got to have your GPS another cool thing is is that it's uh, dust proof waterproof uh, shock proof perfect perfect for the motorcycle really been enjoying it We've got some single lane tunnels coming up. This used to be an old railroad bed. The train would come through here and go to Avery. And uh, that was a long time ago. Here comes one of those train tunnels. <laughs> this is so cool. disorienting. Wow. Oh. Wow. That got dark fast. <laughs> it almost felt like I didn't even have headlights on. Yeah, this part of Idaho is one of my favorites. You guys will remember some of this area. I was in this location when I did the, the scooter, did the scooter camping. And uh, it's just beautiful. I love this spot. It just takes a while to get here. It's like a couple hour drive for me. <laughs> That's fun. That's definitely fun.
Whoa. Oh boy. Oh, it feels good to get off the bike. I'll tell you that right now. Man. Well, we better uh, check this place out. See if it's uh, where we want to camp. Check it out, you guys. This is a nice camp spot. It's really beautiful. Got some massive trees. They are just giant. And you got this amazing little fire pit. And some sort of shelter that somebody was building. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And of course, a bench. Look at that. It's a nice bench. Man, it feels so good to get off that bike. My butt was hurting. It definitely was hurting. But it was a really fun ride. These roads and the views, you just cannot beat it. It's amazing out here. All right, I need to set up the tent real quick and get everything going because it's already, boy, it's already 540. And the sun is starting to go down behind the mountains. Not much daylight left. Oh boy. Man, you guys, I got wet. Because I was sweating, I was sweating a lot. Boy, oh boy. I didn't have the best of uh, summer gear, I guess. We got a couple poles. And we've got our tent. See how quick we can set it up. Tent is up. Now we need to get our sleeping pad in here. I brought the luxury sleeping pad. I have to. It's the only thing that is good on my back. Otherwise, I don't know how much camping I can do. This might be a little while. <laughs> Every time. I should have brought my uh, electric pump. Actually, it, it failed on me. It's no longer working. Going for our sleeping bag. one for Mr. Gill. Now well, bed's all set up and we'll close this up. Keep the bugs out. We don't want any of them bugs. Man, feels good to sit, you guys. I'm starting to cool down a little bit. I was so hot when I was riding that, uh, <laughs> and I sweated so much that I'm finally dried out, but my jacket is soaked. So hopefully that'll, that'll dry off. So we're looking at 50 degrees Fahrenheit right now, which is 10 degrees Celsius. So I haven't showed you guys everything yet. There is the river over on the other side of me. You can hear it. And it looks beautiful. So maybe we'll head over there and look at that here real quick. Okay, fast forward a little bit. I changed. 
I'm a little bit chilly. It's actually a little chilly. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this campsite real quick. So we've got the bike over there with the tent. And over here, we've got this nice big area for activities. <laughs> I went and grabbed some wood as well. Um, I'm still really not sure whether or not I'm gonna have a fire or not. If I were to do a fire here, I'm a little bit concerned about this uh, contraption thing over here because it's nice and dry now. And if an ember flies from there onto that, big trouble. I am in Idaho. There is no burn ban, but you gotta be smart. So down this way towards the river, you can see we've got these cool little steps. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody carved some steps. Come down this trail here. We got flowers everywhere. Man, this place is beautiful. Loving it. And you've got the river. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. The sky is gorgeous right now, too. Yeah, look at that. That thing is really cool. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into that. Weaved it and did all types of stuff. But now, now look at it. It's just a big old bird's nest. It's nasty looking. Looks like this was their door. And they were doing some bushcrafting. <laughs> wow. But now it's gotta come down or something. I don't know. What do you do with it now? It's just kind of a hazard. I bet it looked really cool when it was all green. All right, how stylish am I? I've got the liner of my uh, motorcycle jacket on. Keep myself warm. <laughs> Man, ain't I fancy? Look at that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, I'm not gonna move camp, but we're gonna go cook dinner at another campsite up over there because this fire pit is just too dangerous right now. Um, but over there, I scouted it out. It's a nice looking fire pit with rocks all around it. So it should be good. So we'll go over there, cook dinner, have a little fire and uh, relax. Got my bear spray with me, just in case. And I do have a trusty firearm. So I'm well protected out here. I like that. Because we know the bears are still out right now. And they're hungry.
All right, I got the wood chopped up. We're good to go to make a fire, but I don't really want to start a fire yet because I don't have a ton of wood. So I'm going to use my little canister here to make up some dinner. Now you guys are going to be disappointed. I know you are. <laughs> because we are having a freeze-dried beef pasta marinara. It's not going to be good, but I just don't have all the time in the world right now to cook. And being on the bike, I just, I don't know. I just kind of changed some stuff up a little bit. So doing it easy, just going to cook this up. And then we will cook something on the on the fire. We'll have some kind of like a s'more or something. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I've got some water in my little camelback, so. I'll make it easy on myself. We need three quarters of a cup. That's what it says. I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah, that's probably way more than three quarters, but we'll add and mix it up. See how it goes. So I know you guys aren't too excited about this. I'm not really excited about it either, but <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> beef pasta marinara, beef crumbles with pasta noodles and marinara sauce. Man, look how many, wow. Okay, so I wonder if I could just like add a little bit to the soup there, stir it up. I don't need to use all of this. 520 calories for half a pack. Well, that's a good meal right there. Let's see what it looks like. Oxygen absorber. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure that little marinara ball, a couple of marinara balls. <laughs> that's weird. We'll try to eat it all. No, that's a thousand calories. I don't need to eat a thousand calories right now. <laughs> so I do apologize for the terrible meal, but sometimes it's just kind of hard to get everything organized and have everything ready for some of these trips, you know? Um, especially being on the bike. It's, it's a little bit different being on the bike. Uh, I know I could probably bring some good tasty meals, but it'll take a little more finesse and uh, I haven't got there yet. I just haven't got there yet. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're getting close to a boil. Okay, we're good. Doesn't that look tasty? Just gotta melt all those little things. All right, we'll let that sit for 10 minutes. We'll start our fire. We got a uh, trusty tumbleweed, like always, and a lighter. We'll get going with these uh, sticks here. We've got a little bit of stuff on them and we'll build our fire around it. Hopefully that'll do what we want it to do. <laughs> it's going to be the smallest little fire.
man, it's gonna be a beautiful night. Beautiful. We had a bunch of uh, bunch of clouds earlier when I was riding in here, and I thought I was gonna get some rain as well. But kind of cleared up, which I'm very thankful for. I got the temperature, but it was in my pocket. We got 68 degrees in my pocket. <laughs> We'll see what it is after it sits out here for a little bit, but oh boy, it's uh, it's getting chilly. I can see my breath. Need a little uh, air to it. Get her raging. Looks a little better. Uh, Look, like I'm gonna break this chair. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's done. It's uh, it looks edible now which I guess I could kind of show you guys. It doesn't look amazing, but it's gonna do. <laughs> All right, before that food gets cool, we gotta bless the meal. Tell me, Father Lord, thank you so much for this time to come out here in this beautiful place once again. Seeing your creation, it's always awe-inspiring. And Lord, doing it in a different way, I just cannot thank you enough. Lord, there's so much on my heart right now. Uh, just think things that are going on. I know that uh, you will you will see us through it. And Lord, I just pray for this, this country. I pray for this nation, Lord. I pray for the world that we can turn to you. I know that it's not going to be peaceful. It's not going to be uh, perfect until you return. But Lord, in the meantime, I pray that you'll help us to be vigilant, to do what it is you'd have us to do, to spread the gospel, and I just thank you so much for the opportunity to do that. I pray that you will watch over me tonight and that you will be with the family as I'm away. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm excited to eat it, but I'm not excited. I, <laughs> typically, I'm like, oh, man, I cannot wait to eat. But today, it's freeze dry. You know what, though, a meal is a meal. So I cannot, I cannot complain. <laughs> nah. You know what, it's really not that bad. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not amazing. It's kind of bland. And I'm sure that that's just kind of typical to a lot of freeze dried stuff. They're not going to put a, a ton of work into it. <laughs> it's not like the pizza me and Jackson had. That thing was disgusting. <laughs> That's it. That's all the wood we got. Well, I do have a dessert. We've got marshmallows and we've got chocolate chip cookies. Look at that. <laughs> and I got a stick. So that's what you do. You just gotta roast some marshmallows, you know? This one kind of tore off perfectly, so I don't really need to even do anything to it. Let's put that in there. There we go. Look at that. That's nice, right? It's been a while since I've actually roasted a marshmallow. The kids did it not long ago, but I didn't. 
Sometimes I like a s'more, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just too much sugar. My stick's got a bend in it, so it's actually making it hard to, to kind of rotate. It's a nice fire, actually, just for a couple little tiny logs. It's not bad. Oh, right. Look at that. Nice and toasty. Just the way I like it. Take our mallow. Put that mallow in there. We'll just flip it up like that. <laughs> we'll do the little squishy squish. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. That's nice. <laughs> Isn't there like, it almost looks like a like a ice cream sandwich, you know? <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's way better than dinner. <laughs> I'm currently sitting at 40, 42 degrees outside, which is five degrees Celsius. Well, I know that I've been gone for a little bit a couple of weeks at least I haven't made a video i'm a little rusty I, I actually feel rusty like this really isn't going to be my best performance i'm sorry guys <laughs> but uh we have been busy the last couple of weeks and it's been with a lot of doctor's appointments it hasn't been a whole lot of just like having fun or doing anything like that we've been busy um we've got a couple of things going on shelby has she she had these little like red dots all over her legs and so when she was in for like a yearly physical her doctor said what are those and she was like i don't know and uh so she wanted her to get it tested so she went and got tested and they found out that she has something called massocytosis mass mastocytosis or mastocytosis i don't really know i don't really know what it is we still don't really know what it is apparently it's very rare but it's some sort of like i don't know like some sort of blood disorder that like your blood mutates your mast cells and you have like way too many of them and i really don't know what all that means but we're kind of doing doing this like trying to figure it out so we were busy with a lot of uh appointments this last couple weeks uh shelby had to go and have a bone marrow biopsy which sounds terrible it is terrible they took like 11 they took 11 gauge needle and stuck it into her like pelvis and dug it around and took out a, like a core sample or something like that just kind of waiting on some of these things and uh she's being a trooper she really is we're just kind of just not sure what it is though um what what does it mean you know do, is there any harm in it um so we're trying to figure that out you guys if any of you guys know anything about it i don't know let us know in the comments uh we're just gonna Give it over to the Lord and, and see see what happens. So we would appreciate your guys' prayers for that, uh, especially for Shelby. Um, and then for me, I, I had some sort of lump on my leg. I'm just getting old, I think. Uh, and I think it was just like fatty tissue or something. So I went and had like a ultrasound on it. Um, I don't think it's a tumor or anything, but you never know. I'll have to go through my... Uh, my follow-up appointment soon so yeah i don't know um i know we all have ailments we all have we all have things going on in our lives you know and i really feel bad when i can't get out and make a video for you but i just sometimes i can't <laughs> we got other things and, and priorities to take care of um so that's what's been going on um I, I don't like to just leave you guys hanging like that for a couple weeks without videos but 
sometimes things happen. You guys really are the best though. And I know that you guys understand and I appreciate that so much. So, so much. All right, you guys, I'm in the tent and I'm ready for bed. Man, what a good day. It was a long one though, an exhausting one. Riding the bike with a like a side wind proves to be a little bit of a challenge. And you kind of use muscles that uh, you don't usually use if you don't do it all the time. <laughs> Which I haven't done a whole lot of long travel motorcycle uh, stuff. I'm not really new to motorcycles. Uh, I've rode them since I was a kid. Uh, I used to have a Suzuki Boulevard M50 um, before I moved out to where I live now, which is on a dirt road, way out in the middle of nowhere. So when we bought that property, I sold the bike because I didn't want to drive it on the dirt roads. And I told Shelby, I said, one day, one day, if I ever get a motorcycle again, it'll be a dual sport, an adventure bike. So here we are. <laughs> I finally got myself an adventure bike. I've been looking at them for like three years now. Um, and finally it, it kind of worked out to where I could pick one up. So I did start a second channel and it's called Bomb Moto. That's where I'm going to put like all my motorcycle content. The camping will be on this channel. So if, if we do anything camping wise with the motorcycle, it'll be here. But if I go on a like a ride or maybe I modify the bike or something, I'm going to put it on the other channel. That way this channel doesn't get clogged up with uh, all, all that stuff. At least that's the idea. So go check it out. It's called Bomb Moto. Um, I've been working on it for a little bit. I've got a few videos out there. Uh, not a ton. All right, that's enough from me. I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night. tired my whole body aches <laughs> i slept in i slept in till uh nine past nine. Oh boy i really don't want to get up i want to sleep in just keep sleeping it feels good the sun's coming up, and it's coming up quick. It's probably been up for a little bit. <laughs> so we better get up and uh, start our day. Hit the trail a little bit. I want to ride around, explore, check some stuff out. Uh, let's see if I can crawl out of here. Ugh. Man, it's beautiful out here. Wow. I love it. Gotta get the coffee going. Need that coffee.
we're going with the Folgers coffee bag. It's like a tea bag. You guys have seen me use this before. It works really well. Oh, coffee. It smells so good. All right, we got a boil. I've been letting it boil for a couple minutes here. We'll shut her down. And now for our coffee. You gotta do the little coffee dance. Coffee dance. Coffee. <laughs> Uh, I'll let that sit there and coffee-fy, coffee -fy for a little bit, because next we've got to do breakfast, which I brought, it's like eggs, cheese, sausage, bacon. This was a frozen meal that I found at the grocery store. And I had it in my saddlebags next to a frozen Gatorade. So hopefully this is still good. It's not frozen anymore, but <laughs> hopefully it's good. <laughs> oh boy, the cheese is melting fast. Wish I could have separated the cheese from the eggs and potatoes. Doesn't look too bad. I just don't know that I'll get it cooked without burning that cheese. Burning the cheese now. We're gonna have crispy cheese. It might taste good. Take a look at our coffee there. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Ah, it smells great. It smells like a good coffee. Look at that. We got breakfast. That looks delicious. We're trying it right now. I can already tell though that I needed ketchup because it's gonna be a little, uh, little dry. Mmm. Oh. Still really tasty. And everything cooked up good. So I'm happy with that. I think it's Jimmy Dean's, like, uh, breakfast bowl or something like that. Frozen breakfast bowl. So I just took it out of his package, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it right next to a frozen... Powerade and it worked that worked at least for night one. I don't know if you could do it for two nights, but <laughs> oh. You know how you get that like heat wave that goes down in your belly and it just feels really good That's what I just got And it feels really good it Reminds me of fall, you know things getting cold you're having hot cocoa or coffee Oh, I'm so excited for fall. <laughs> I'm excited for for winter to come back. Oh man. Summertime is just not my just not my thing. Too hot, too many bugs. Lots and lots of people. And uh yeah. Thankfully it's only for a short couple of months. We'll be back to winter camping here soon, I'm sure. Or at least some rain camping. Maybe we'll get into some rain. That ain't going nowhere. All right, everything is packed up and ready to go. Man, look at that. I don't know if I've actually properly introduced the bike to you guys. This is a 2024 KLR 650S. The S stands for short. It is the short model. That way I can actually fit on it. <laughs> 
I tried to sit on one of the original ones before they came out with the S and I was tippy toeing a little bit. I mean, it was manageable, but I couldn't flat foot it and that could have been dangerous on uneven terrain. So I'm very thankful that they actually came out with a shorter version and I'm loving it. This thing is super nice, you guys. Been having so much fun with it. I do go a little more in depth on the, uh, the other channel about it, or at least I will. Um, but yeah. One of the things I'm really liking though, you guys, is this little thing right here. This was sent to me by Carpu Ride. It is their WS or W702. That's what it's called. It is a Apple CarPlay Android Auto device. Basically what it does is it connects to your phone. I'm actually using Onyx off-road right now and I have GPS right there through my phone. It's really neat, I really enjoy it. You can use your maps or you can do some music or you can make some phone calls. Obviously, obviously you don't really wanna be doing that while you're riding, but you can pull over and do it. Or I have like an intercom thing where I can just tell Siri to call somebody or play a certain playlist. <laughs> but this has been one of my favorite things so far that I've added to the bike um, just for functionality. I can get around, I can see where I'm going. Um, if I use Apple Maps, I can actually tell like the route I'm going, the speed limit, if there's gonna be something ahead of me that I should go somewhere else, you know? All those fun and convenient uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto features. So this is the Carpu Ride 702. I just a uh, huge shout out to them for sending that to me to test out. I've had it for a couple months now. Uh, I've used it more on the other channel than I have on this. So. so I'm loving the bike, you guys. I'm having so much fun with it. We'll be getting out and doing some more adventures as long as we have the weather for it. Once the snow hits, I guess it's going to be put away, but we've got some other, other ideas for the snow. Sounds cool. Should be last. Coming down the hill, I'm getting out of here. I thought I was going to be able to go further on down that tunnel, but I ended up running into a roadblock or road closed. They have that bus running up and down this hill, so you really got to be careful, especially around these corners. Here comes the bus now.
Wow, you guys, check out this spot. This is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Get out here in the middle of nowhere. You in a river. Does you good. Does you real good. Okay, let's go down there. Try not to die. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here. It's a nice spot to just sit, relax before I head out and uh, have the long ride home. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see more motorcycle camping, let me know in the comments down below. We don't have a whole lot of time left uh, for the summer. Um, I might take it into the fall, maybe do some rain camping, some, some fall camping. That'll be fun. Um, but just let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you want to see more of this, I know that this video is not up to par. It is very subpar in my opinion. Uh, so I'm sorry about that, but we'll be back on track this coming week. All right, everybody. Once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye!